Primordial Radio. Primordial Radio, absolutely delighted now to be joined by Jacob Oni. Dude, how you doing? I'm good, dude. How are you? Yeah, really good, man. Really good. So you're currently on a run of dates at the moment, day off in Canada right now. How's it all going? It's been great. We played Montreal yesterday. It was awesome. And are you on your are you on headline dates? Are you on a support run? Um like uh, what's, what's the tour right now? With Starset. Oh cool, right. So that's um it's a little bit of a different billing actually, Star Sex. I guess they're more in like the melodic rock kind of side of things. Yeah. Well, our new album has a lot of melodic rock on it. So we've been playing a lot of the new songs. Um and then it's been nice too because we're kinda of like the heavy band on the tour. So we got like mosh pits and all that fun stuff. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So collaborations are a huge thing in twenty twenty two. Honestly, I swear every week a track i get said it's like this person's guesting that person's guesting it's it's sick i love it because it's great to see loads of people doing different things with each other but yeah, man. your collaborations so first off sosmula and zilakami of city morgue now that that was a sick collaboration how did that come about how did that come about um my management the guys of 5b reached out to their management and we kind of just made it happen like that and then I spoke to Sos and Zilla on the phone, and we kind of were like, all right, this is how the song's going to go. We're going to do like a new metal, sort of like Soulfly vibe with like rapping. And it's kind of like Soulfly with Corey Taylor vibes, but like Oni and City Morgue. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of how that happened. And uh, they're really nice guys, man. They're really cool. So it was a pleasure to work with them. Well, I think it's really interesting with City Morgue and what they're doing in that musical space right now, because I think we're quite sort of accustomed to metal bands integrating a bit of hip hop. And that's been very well done over the years, but perhaps maybe not so much the reverse where it's like a hip hop group integrating like a little bit of metal. But I actually I kind of feel like what they're doing right now might be one of the biggest things to happen to metal in in a long time. I agree, man. I'm I'm all about it. And one thing that really annoys me is when kind of like elitist metalheads gatekeep mm. from the, the new age of like rap that is influenced by metal, like you said. Um, yeah, man. I wanted those guys to come down to Cayman to my studio and do like a whole EP with them, which still might happen one day. But Sos couldn't come. And then Zilla had a music video with like uh, – Lil Uzi Vert at the time, so he couldn't make it either. So we just did the one song sort of remotely. But we were going to do like a bunch more songs with like more clean singing and like grungy kind of stuff with me and Zilla. It was going to be really cool. So that might still happen at, at some point. Well, I really hope so because it was absolutely fascinating reading through some of the comments on War Ender and just so many people going like, Oh, it's just amazing to hear Sos and Zilla going full metal and, and like really going for it. So I kind of feel like there is clearly an appetite from a completely different audience for heavier music that perhaps that hasn't been done done for them yet. And I want to collab with different artists in different genres. That's something I really want to do. Um, moving forward, I want to collab more. And do other features, like me featuring on other artist stuff. I did a feature for a German band recently. Um, not sure if I can tell who it is or whatever, but there, there'll be that coming out. I want to do a lot more collaborations with guest artists on my music. So it's exciting times. Definitely. And again, on the collaborations, it's interesting. I remember speaking to Lucas from Holding Absence about this, and yeah, he was saying, oh, well, you know, you look at the other genres and they'll have like a track where there's say 10 collaborators on one track yeah, within the, and, really. and, and I kind of feel like we're just kind of getting, even though it feels like uh, perhaps it's all like quite new in the metal world, actually, I kind of feel like we're only just getting started and soon enough, there's going to be tracks where it's like, right, here is 10 absolutely incredible guests on this one song. Dude, that's the thing. Like I love creating in the studio and when I'm inspired by another artist i want to work with that artist you know so that's kind of how city morgue came about like i i found them i was like these guys are fucking sick i want to work with them and i want to work with a lot more hip-hop artists um in that like heavy hip-hop sort of world um 
I guess the kids call it trap metal or something these days. Well, I was going to say, yeah, like, what are your thoughts on uh, trap metal? Because there's so many different iterations and variations of it. And some of it's just so brutally heavy. And some of it, I listen to, I go like, the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think it's great. Um, it's just nice to hear. Like, you, you've heard so much rap over metal music, like Limp Bizkit and Linkin Park. Yep. But to hear, like, screaming over a trap beat is something that's new. Mm. You know, but it's not quite new metal it's its own it's totally its own it's thing. definitely a different beast like I love it. definitely I love it. like because i i grew up with new metal and and, and very much and, and i love new metal and i feel like metal lost some of its like character of being truly pissed off like when you listen to, like slipknot mm. or pantera they sound like genuinely upset like angry yep and if you listen to like modern metal bands it it kind of lost that edge, that bite. It became much more like tonal screaming and more like technique. When back in the day, guys were just upset, like Mudvayne and Drowning Pool and all the new metal guys, they're just pissed. Like, and I feel like trap metal, the vocalists have that like, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, subtracts me like it actually sounds a bit scary. Like, <laughs> like yeah, oh man, yeah, I, I love that. Yes, I think all vocals should. <laughs> convey emotion you know so absolutely i'm all i'm all about it man i'm a big fan amazing so just like your on, on the other collaboration as well because you know we were talking about multiple guests while well, you did that um how how on earth did you manage to get randy Blythe Bye. and iggy pop onto a singular track like like how the fuck did that ha- <laughs> come about how do you make that happen it's very strange it's very very strange um we uh Originally, we're going to have a different artist instead of Iggy Pop on the song. It was going to be Corey Taylor. From right, right. And no one really knows. I haven't really said this in an interview. But basically, it didn't work out with Corey Taylor. You know, everyone's cool. Like, there's no hard feelings. Like, nothing bad happened or anything like that. Yep. He's, but, uh, he's a busy guy, right? Fuck. <laughs> he's, he's a busy guy. You know, he's a busy guy. And I was thinking, like, who do I know who I can get? You know, we, we were shopping around different metal guys, and I was like, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, we can get him or him or her and, like, metal front men, front women. And I was, we, I was like, you know what? I know Randy would lose his mind if he got to be in the same room as Iggy Pop. And Randy's my good friend. So I've known Iggy Pop. Well, I first met Iggy Pop when I was, like, 14 because uh, he's my aunt's neighbor. In- right, right, right. So I had my mom reach out to her and her friend who's friends with him and try to like get a deal going. Where I've been saying go. on air for the past few weeks, this dude's got like a black book. <laughs> you know, somebody has got all the contacts for that. So it's very cool that it's actually a family connection. Yeah, well, the world's small, man. It's it's really small. And the music industry is even smaller. Yeah, so. yeah, that's true. It, it, it's it's not very big so yeah so um it, it, it's weird man it's a strange strange world we live in but yeah he pop got down on the song um i was in the studio with him when he was recording secrets we had him record over the whole thing and and it was one of those things where it was definitely out of his element um metal songs aren't really his thing mm-hmm. but that song has that really creepy intro and I was like, man, Iggy Pop's voice sounds so ominous over this intro. So mm. that, that's what happened. And we, we got him on the intro and it was great. And It's a killer song. And it's getting a great response here on the station as well, I have to say. And I think you're right. Yeah, the way in which the... I think it's the way in which the Iggy is on that track that works so works so well. Because he's got that kind of like creepy vibe. And it's know. a fun one live too. Like last night, for example, we played it and... A mosh pit just happens. I don't have to say anything. It's just kids are kids get hyped with that song. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It, it's like uh, that song is really awesome because Mark Morton wrote pretty much the whole thing. He wrote all the lyrics. He wrote like the cadence of how the lyrics were going to be laid out. The guitars, the drums. It was like his brainchild. Mm-hmm. Um, I just wrote the melody like in the hook or whatever with the help of Josh Wilbur. But yeah, Mark wrote that song, so it's really cool be able to play it live and it's fun 
Well, Jake, dude, it has been such a pleasure to uh, to meet for the first time and chat and been loving the record, been loving the tracks. And uh, yeah, look forward to more of those collaborations. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we won't have to wait too long for you to come over to the UK. Primordial Radio.